It's week 34 of Zer for Destiny 2, and I'm going to give you guys my recommendations, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, Zer is located on the Traveler. So we're going to mark him and then find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? So, like always, we are going to start with the left hand side and the weapon of the week is the Colony. And this is a Void Grenade Launcher. The intrinsic perk on this is Insectoid Robot Grenades, which this weapon's grenades are Insectoid Robots that chase targets and explode close to them. Then we have Linear Compensator, High Velocity Rounds, uh, Serve the Colony, which Insectoid Robot Grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. And then we have Composite Stock, and like all exotic weapons, they come with a weapon attack mod. So if you guys do not have the colony, go ahead and grab it. It definitely is top tier in PvE as well as PvP. Uh, especially around ads for PvE. But for PvP, it's definitely a most likely a uh, two. They probably get like definitely two kills off of it. Or possibly even four if the enemies are already injured. So definitely go ahead and grab this if you guys do not have it. Next is that I will be going over is the Shinobu's Vow for the Hunter class. And this comes with two mobility and one resilience. Intrinsic perk on this is new tricks, which improves skip grenade and you gain an additional skip grenade charge. And then we have mobility enhancement mod, plasteel reinforcement mod, and this comes with an energy bracket mod. Now, personally, this is definitely in my top picks for exotics for my hunter class, especially for my pole dancer, because shit, who doesn't like skip grenades, right? So I probably would consider this a maybe a tier, hmm, I'm probably going to say maybe a tier two in PVE as well as PVP, because it definitely is still good in PVE. So definitely go ahead and grab this if you guys do not have it. Next that we'll be going over is the Mark 44 Stand Size for the Titan class. This also comes with two mobility and one resilience. Intrinsic perk on this is seriously, watch out, which grants an overshield uh, when sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield bash equipped. Hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy. And then we have mobility enhancement mod, restorative mod, as well as acceleration mod. Now, this exotic is an okay exotic. I wouldn't really consider it top tier. Because uh, you don't really see a lot of people running around with a Mark 44 stand aside, but it still is a good exotic. So I'm probably going to rate this uh, 2.5 in PvP and probably just a 2 in PvE. Because, you know, if you get an overshield in PvE, it's pretty good. So yeah, definitely go ahead and grab it, you guys, if you don't have it. And last but not least, the final exotic is the Stag for the Warlock, and this comes with one resilience and two recovery. Transit perk on this is Dearly Departed, which grants Rift Energy when you are critically wounded. On your death, creates a brief healing rift on your corpse. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, and Self Repairing mod. Now, this is a decent exotic, however, I'm not very fond of exotics that activate under sp uh, specific conditions. For this, most likely, the second half of it, you have to be dead in order for you or your teammates to get the, um, how do you say, the benefits of this. And while that's great for some, it's not really great for all. So... In PvP, I'm probably going to have to rate this a tier 3. In PvE, probably a tier 2.5 to even, possibly even a tier 2. Because um, it's more useful in PvE if you die than it is in PvP. Next, we have your consumable. I don't know why there's an S. There's only one. And it is the Three of Coins, from which when you pop this, you get a chance for an exotic for the next four hours. 
And last but not least, you have your awesome, wonderfully worthless faded engram for 97 legendary shards. Real quick, if you guys do not have one of these, grab this before you go ahead and pop the faded engram because you have a chance to actually get these here. So I did want to apologize to everyone because I did not get this video out earlier. However, I finally, finally had my twins. So I was doing daddy duties and spending time with them. And you know what? We were having a great time all day. So that's actually what really matters, you know? And if you guys enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.